some very exciting news for families that have children with cerebral palsy, a potential treatment using stem cells. And this could be the first really effective way to repair the brain damage from it. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here to introduce us to a young boy who benefited from this treatment. Doctor. That's right, and this is starting to deliver on the tremendous promise of stem cells. Let me tell you about it here. These cells came from a child's own umbilical cord blood that was banked at birth. It later became clear that some children had suffered a brain injury around birth, resulting in cerebral palsy. It was a fairly uneventful pregnancy for the Rooney family. Their first child, Patrick, was born near full term by cesarean section and all seemed well for a while. To have left hand would be like a fist and hold the bottle to his mouth. And then when he was crawling, we thought it was cute, but his right, right leg did all the work, like, and the left leg just dragged. It was cerebral palsy, and it didn't get better when Patrick started walking. His left leg would turn in, and um, when he started walking, he walked a little later, and he would fall a lot. And then when he started running, he would trip over his left leg. Today, you wouldn't know that 12-year-old Patrick had ever had any brain issues. The change started six years ago with a letter the Long Island family got from Viacord, the company where Patrick's umbilical cord blood cells had been banked. It asked if they wanted to volunteer for a groundbreaking study at Duke University with Dr. Joanne Kurtzberg. Patrick would have an infusion of his own stem cells from his cord blood and then followed for a year. The remarkable results of the placebo-controlled double-blind study are documented in a just-published journal. We were able to look at the motor tracks, um, which are the nerve connections that control motor function, and we were able to show that children who had improvement in function also also had uh, either repair or development of new motor tracks in the area of their deficit. Now Patrick has no problem keeping up with his younger brothers. And that left hand that used to curl into a fist, no problem. And even sports. And swimming mm -hmm. and uh, basketball and, and baseball. baseball. Now, doctors don't want to call this a cure, but it is a relatively simple treatment that improves a type of spastic CP well beyond what would be expected with physical and occupational therapy. As for kids who didn't get their cord blood bank, Dr. Kurtzberg is exploring using so-called generic cord cells to help those children. And his parents said this is just giving them their dreams back about what they thought oh, Patrick, their oldest son, would be able to do. Now... Sky's the limit. You can see the relief in their body language, right? Yeah, it was unbelievable. It's everything yeah. to wow. them. Thank you, Dr. Thanks. Max.